guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are going to hear lots of dogs barking in the background because they've been basically doing that all day. I haven't had the best of days. I've been stuck here by myself with these four glaring white walls. But I have got a bit of tidying up done. I have written some poetry. Uh, which I will show you uh, probably in a few days time so I've written some poetry, I've looked through some old photographs and I have accomplished things, today has not been wasted um, Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 6.24pm p.m. Now, normally I would be getting ready to take Max out for a walk, but it's a bit busy outside. There's a lot of activity, there's a lot of dogs barking, a lot of cars drawing up outside my bedroom window. A car like my father's drew up earlier, and I haven't gone out anywhere. But then, a few, about a week ago, I went to Stone Bay in Broadstairs. Um, the other day, you know, I went to my mum's and I've had a massive pizza. I mean, you can't go out every single day and spend money you haven't got. I'm quite happy indoors by myself. I don't need other people to disrupt my life, you know, because once somebody comes into your life, you know, you lose your money. They want some money. They need some money. They want something from you. Not everybody, but most people, right? So why would I be upset when I've got a purse full of money? Well, not, a, you know what I mean. I've got enough money to, if I wanted to go out to the co-op to get something I can, I can go out and get a few things. Why would I be upset? Why would somebody continually want to make you upset? Earlier on, somebody said to me, well, can you show me a picture of yourself um, with somebody when you were happy? I've got plenty of those photographs. This is a photo of my father when he was younger. This is Derek. This is my dad, Derek, here. As you see, men have beards and moustaches and women don't. This is me, Derek's daughter. When I'd first come down to um, Chatham in 2009, 8, 9 and 10, that's what I look like. You see the Dracula hairline. I call it the Dracula hairline. You know, it's like Dracula's hairline. It's like a triangle that hangs down. I haven't got the same hairline as my father Derek, have I? Do you see that hairline? Totally different to my dad's. I've got my father's dimples, but I've not got Derek's hairline. See? I don't think my mum's got that hairline either. Funny world, isn't it? So, uh, 
earlier on, I took Max out for a walk lunchtime. Uh, it was starting to rain, hardly anybody else. There was a, a lady jogger on the field, even though it was coming down with rain. And um, obviously, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee is very, very important. So they have got about 50 bags of decorative bark. Decorative bark. And how much would that cost? You know, I, you know, a bag of uh, compost from the town shop usually I get. How much is all this decorative bark costing? And that is what's stinking. It's the decorative bark. So it's not mulch or compost. Decorative bark. That is my dad, Derek. That is me. When I changed my, I obviously changed my name to Crystal. I was Janessa and I changed it to Crystal. I don't know, this might have been when I changed my name in 2009. I'm not exactly sure. But that is me and my dad. Me and dad. My mum didn't come with us. Jennifer didn't. And I remember the two lovely uh, young ladies that did the photo shoot. And pushed me and my dad really close together. The two lovely young photographers, females, that pushed me and my dad really close together. Like we were a couple, but we were father and daughter. Right? So the stench along the riverside is decorative bark. Tons and tons of it. Very expensive. And it was left where it was left. I mean, I live on a balcony. I haven't got a garden. I'm not going to take some decorative bark, am I? It's very heavy as well, I would imagine. I used to carry uh, great big bags of compost up a hill from the pound shop. And that nearly killed me. Right, so later on I'm going to take my lovely little chihuahua out for a walk all by myself, not talk to anybody, and come back and put the telly on with my neighbour going <laughs> on the balcony above me. Right, and I will completely ignore it, and I will watch a lovely film. I'm going to choose one when I come back. You know, um, The Bride of Frankenstein, I think. Right guys, have a good evening, cuddle the ones you love and I'll see you later.